Hello everybody. So over here we have been given that the area of a square inscribed in a semicircle is 2 cm square. Then we have to find the area of the square inscribed in a full circle of the same radius. So basically we have been given with a semicircle. Let's make it. Now we don't know the radius of the semicircle. So just assume that the radius is equal to R. Now we can use Pythagoras theorem in this right angled triangle guys. Can I not say that x square plus x by 2 the whole square that will be equal to r square over here. Now it is given that area of this square is 2 cm square. Now we have to find the area of the square inscribed in a full circle of the same radius. Now suppose the side of the square is y. So this will also be y. This is again a right angled triangle. So can I not say that y square is coming out to be 2 into r square. And what is y square guys? That is the area of this square. Hello everybody. So over here we have been given that the area of a square inscribed in a semicircle is 2 cm square. Then we have to find the area of the square inscribed in a full circle of the same radius. So let's do it. So basically we have been given with a semicircle. Let's make it. And we are talking about area of a square inscribed in it. So the square will be somewhat like this guys. It will be somewhat like this over here. Now we don't know the radius of the semicircle. So just assume that the radius is equal to r. Right? And suppose the side of the square over here is x centimeter. So obviously this will also be x guys. So I can say that this will be x by 2 over here. I hope this is clear. And obviously if it's a square, so this will be 90 degrees. Now we can use Pythagoras theorem in this right angled triangle guys. Can I not say that x square plus x by 2 the whole square that will be equal to r square over here. Now over here, uh, let's first simplify this thing. So this will be x square plus x square by 4 that is equal to r square. So if you further simplify, can I not say that r square will be equal to 5x square by 4. Now it is given that area of this square is 2 cm square. Now what is the area of a square? That is side square. It means x square is the area of the square and that is given to be equal to 2 cm square. So I can put 2 over here. So this will be cancelled out. So can I not say that r square over here is 5 by 2 cm square. Now we have to find the area of the square inscribed in a full circle of the same radius. If we have got a full circle over here and we have got a square inscribed in it like this. Suppose this is the center. So we can join it like this guys. So obviously if this is the radius, this will also be radius, right? Now suppose the side of the square is y. So this will also be y. This is again a right angled triangle. So can we not use the Pythagoras theorem over here? So can I not say that y square plus y square that is equal to 2r the whole square over here. So can I not say that 2y square that is equal to 4r square over here guys. I can easily say that. So I can cancel out 2 over here. So can I not say that y square is coming out to be 2 into r square and we already know that the value of r square is 5 by 2. So I can put 5 by 2 over here. This will be cancelled out. Now over here we are getting y square to be equal to 5 centimeter square. And what is y square guys? That is the area of this square. I hope this is clear to every student watching this video.